to himself about what he's been through in an unbelievable fight. That was the uppercut jab right up under the left jab, which is why he abandoned the jab. He wanted Kirkland to throw those type punches so that he could counter. Once again, Kirkland threw that left hand, and then it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he countered it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to work on. So through all of the firefight in there, Canelo was thinking the whole time. Thinking the whole time. He looked down to the body right with a jab and comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down. And if you can get knocked down like that, it's not as hard to knock you out if you keep working the body shot. If you watch his attack, Canelo always got good body shots in. Okay, those trunks are good there. Those trunks are good there. James, give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Canelo, yo quiero una pelea en Libia. Obedezcan mis órdenes y protejanse a todo tiempo. Well, if you love action and the big fight last week puts you to sleep, wake up. Because more likely than not, one of these two is about to go to sleep. Who am I looking for? This fight might knock you out. The relatively unknown trainer in James Kirkland's corner tonight is San Antonio's Rick Moronis. He's 32 years old. He's never trained a fighter of Kirkland's quality in a fight this big. Canelo Alvarez has been trained his entire career by the father-son team in his corner, Kepo Reynoso and his son Jose. As an attacker or a counterpuncher? Well, he's a counterpuncher, and tonight he'll have to be a counterpuncher because he's fighting a guy who's going to be all over him. But he can fight either way, Jim. He can attack or he can counter. Canelo on the defensive right now as Kirkland fires away and Canelo keeps his guard up in the corner. Canelo already ate a good right hand from Kirkland. It's one of the reasons he's in the corner right now. Hard right hand by Canelo. Kirkland firing away. Lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. But let's remember, Kirkland is vulnerable, especially early. We saw it against Angulo. He sometimes goes too offensive early, and against Angulo was dropped with the right hand. Kirkland squares his feet up and forgets to stay in a responsible boxing stance. He just got hurt bad with left, left hook. hook. Just got hurt real bad with left hook. Kirkland hurt again. Hurt very bad, Joe. Both fighters have been hurt in round one. Hard right hand by Canelo. I've never Alvarez seen... has a chance for something big. I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope adult that tells you how hurt he must be. Well, Canelo taking his time and landing the big shot. No one Hard right good. hand. Down goes Kirkland. Minutes still to go in the first round. Again, that's only been with Ann Wolf. The only other time he didn't have her, he was knocked out in the first round, and he's in jeopardy here Take in the left first hook. round. Another right hand. Bad Kirkland body shot. Again. Huge body shot by Canelo. He's piecing this together brilliantly ever since the early assault from Kirkland that locked him in the corner. Huge right hand. Left hook to the body. Canelo working, working. John Shirley looking. And Kirkland's going to make it out of the round. Here you see Canelo down, left by the shot, followed by a straight right hand, right down the pipe. That hurt, and that sent Kirkland to the canvas quickly. Once again, you see a straight right lead, blocked by the shot, straight right down the pipe. That right hand will put you down every time. And Melda both reacting very positively to what they saw in round one. Copy box numbers. Alvarez was 38 of 68 in round one. 36 of them were power connects. 10 to the body, just like that. Left hook to the body there. And another big left hook. Knocks Kirkland into the ropes. Alvarez landing everything. Straight right. Straight right. Straight right. Left to the body. Kirkland's going to get stopped if he doesn't throw some shots. Tremendous shots. How is he still here? I don't know. Incredible conditioning and, is the only answer. And punching back. And still trying. Uppercut by Alvarez. He's hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink. And Kirkland's still standing up. That's why they call him the Mandingo Warrior, And Jim. now the Mandingo Warrior starts <laughs> to fire himself. He is Amazing. throwing punches. He can survive that assault. He is throwing punches, and he's showing great resolve, but the punches don't yet have the snap that they do when he starts to come back in these many fights we've seen. Well, because Canelo is smart enough to attack the body as well as the head. He's not just attacking him to the head like most people make the mistake and do. And look at this, guys. Canelo loves this kind of fight. You can see it. Great right hand. Here comes Kirkland. It's an all-out war in round two. And these are big, powerful junior middleweights throwing bombs with every punch. 
picking his shots. He wasn't just going haywire with them. So he is not punched out. That was the right uppercut. Team Kirkland hoped to avoid. They're getting hit with everything. But that uppercut lifted him off the canvas. Left to the body, right to the body, right uppercut. Another big rally by Alvarez. And he is tight. Get your feet together. Keep that front foot in front of you. Don't square up, baby, okay? I got it. Keep no fight like this. Spit with spit, spit. Never Big breath. fight like this. Again, one more. Here you see Canelo land a beautiful left uppercut. What keeps Kirkland up on his feet? I do not know. You couldn't ask for a better place left uppercut, just like this left hook, right on the button. Left hooks don't get landed any cleaner than this. I mean, wow. What a beard and what conditioning Kirkland must have right now. CompuBox numbers in round two. Alvarez landed 29 of 54. Kirkland threw 90 punches in the second round after almost getting knocked out in the first round. Only landed 16 of them, but landed some very hard shots. Right uppercut is landing still for Canelo Alvarez. Now Kirkland begins to throw to the body. Kirkland's conditioning coach, Bebe McClinton, said that the only athlete he's ever worked with, and he's worked with a lot of NBA and NFL players, the only one that compares to Kirkland in terms of his will is Priest Holmes. And Kirkland has that kind of great running back quality. When the play is over, his legs are still churning. Here's Kirkland, arms still churning after those first two rounds. Amazing. Man. What will. How shocked would we be at this point if this fight went 12 rounds? Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you should have gave $100 to see if you wanted to see a fight. You, you got a boxing match last week. That's a different thing than a fight. Oh, oh. This is a fight. Yeah, this is a fight. This is not much skill, but a fight. Little skill, but less than what we see from the best. But if there's a skill advantage, it belongs to Canelo Alvarez, and that means the premium for Kirkland is on heart and will and guts, and he has them all in abundance. So far, it's skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Perfect shots by Canelo Alvarez. Kirkland keeps coming. He can't keep giving Canelo them big shots, though, Jim. What are those body shots? Those body shots will wear anybody down. What a savage beating. This is Kirkland target practice for Canelo Alvarez. Yes, it is. And Kirkland's taking every shot and coming back. And telling him to cut there he is. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down, second knockdown of the fight. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, baby. Eight. Stay there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Show me something. Kirkland at great pain. So let John Shirley know he's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Shirley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. the show. Alvarez landed 20 out of 28 punches in the second round. All of them power shots. And that uppercut was unbelievable tonight. Yeah, Jim, the uppercut was unbelievable. The overhand right, even more unbelievable. But the guy, made, he, he made him do that. Uh, Kirk could put so much pressure on him that he had to resort to just throwing big shots. Forget the jab, forget the tap shots, throw big shots to either get him out of there or get him off you. And they are still working with James Kirkland on the deck. As Canelo Alvarez to himself about what he's been through in an unbelievable fight. That was the uppercut jab right up under the left jab, which is why he abandoned the jab. He wanted Kirkland to throw those type punches so that he could counter. 
Once again, cut it through that left hand, and then well, it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he counted it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to work on. So with. through all of the firefight in there, Canelo was thinking the whole time. Thinking the whole time. He looked down to the body right with a jab and comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down, and if you can get knocked down like that, it's not as hard to knock you out if you keep working the body shot. If you watch this attack, Canelo always got good body shots in during those attacks. Talking about body shots, there he aims low and then fires upstairs. Yep. A perfect feint. That's what I call look down but come up. <laughs> a brilliant display by Canelo Alvarez. One more look. Remember, Wilfred Benitez's knockout of Murray's Hope was almost the exact same punch, just without the jab. He looked down and came over the top, and that's where you see real old school boxing lessons right there with Canelo Alvarez just showed you. Wow. An amazing win for Alvarez. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Houston, in the tradition of slugger versus slugger, the end comes at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul Canelo. CompuBox numbers, and once again, Canelo landed 20 out of 28 in the third round en route to the knockout. Every one of them was a power shot. All in all, he lands 58% of his punches, landing 45 more than Kirkland while throwing 47 fewer. Kirkland not nearly as accurate, though he was throwing hard all the way through the second and third rounds after having gotten hurt badly in the first. Power punches, Canelo 79 out of 132, 60%. He had a willing target, he took advantage of it, he mixed his punches brilliantly. Kirkland landing 41 of 177, and some of those 41 landed punches were hellacious shots. But at the end of the day, Canelo Alvarez had too much skill and too much presence of mind for James Kirkland. Let's go to Max Kellerman with the winner. Congratulations, Canelo on a sensational, electrifying knockout win in front of all these people. How do you feel about being in a fight like this? No, me siento muy bien. Me siento muy contento, agradecido con toda la gente que está aquí apoyándome. I feel very good. I feel very happy with all the people that are here supporting me. Es una gran motivación para mí. Eso me da fuerza para levantarme. Correr, entrenar y seguir ganando peleas. Muchas gracias a todos. This gives me great motivation to get up in the morning, to keep running, to keep winning fights. Thank you, everyone. But you've won plenty of fights in the past. This was a high-profile fight where the two of you went to war. It was an action fight. What do you think about that kind of fight? Así es. Kirkland es un gran peleador. Es un peleador muy fuerte. Como pensábamos, ¿no? Como pensábamos, un peleador que que iba a ir hacia el frente. Y vieras al frente tirando golpes, tirando golpes. Y así fue, ¿no? Al principio nos fatigamos un poco porque empezó muy fuerte la pelea. Pero después empecé a agarrar mi ritmo. Entonces fue como gané la pelea. Kirkland is a great fighter. We knew he was going to come and throw punches. You know, at the beginning, we, got a little, both, we were both a little exhausted. But I knew what happened. I knew we would win the fight. It seems to me that you prefer this kind of fight to a Lara kind of fight. Where there's not as much action. Is that the case? No, siempre pelear con, con un peleador como Kirkland que, que le gusta pelear. Para mí y para la gente creo que es el las peleas que les gusta ver, ¿no? Y, y claro, me encanta, me encanta. Fighting a man against Kirk, like Kirkland, a man that comes and comes to fight, is something that the public's like and that I love. Did you feel after last week's big fight that didn't produce fireworks that you could create something special here for boxing fans who were hungry for that kind of fight? Mira, sinceramente, yo no me baso en otras peleas. Yo no me baso en otras carreras. Yo me baso en lo que yo hago, en las peleas que yo hago. 
y a la gente le gusta y eso es lo que me importa. Truthfully, I don't focus on other fighters. I don't focus on other fights. I do what I do. I do what the people like, and that's what's important to me. So let's focus on your next fight. You just took care of business. If Cotto takes care of business in June, are you interested in fighting Cotto before the end of this year? Yo estoy listo para cualquier rival. Yo no lo rehuyo a nadie y estoy listo aquí para cualquiera. I'm ready for any rival. I don't run away from anyone. I'm ready for anyone. That's one of the things we all love about you. Does that include Triple G in the not too distant future, Gennady Golovkin? Claro, ¿por qué no? Él es un gran campeón, es un guerrero. Son de los peleadores que me gusta pelear. En el futuro está esa pelea, ¿por qué no? Yes, why not? He's a great champion. He's a warrior. And that's the type of fighter that I want to fight. In the future, yes. Thank you, Canelo, for a spectacular showing. Canelo, you okay? Thank you, you too. James, congratulations on a tough showing. You jumped on him, you seemed to catch him with a right hand early, followed him into the corner, and then he seemed to start unloading on you. How badly were you hurt in that first round? Honestly, first most, I want to give thanks to God for this opportunity because without him, none of this is possible. And I, I should ask, can you even remember clearly a fight like that at a moment like this when so many punches were exchanged? Most definitely, you know, I'm a fighter, so most definitely you got to be able to know your ins and your outs when it comes to being in the ring. Uh, most, as I can say, you know, I got in there, put and work together, I evidently left my, uh, left my left hand down. And he came over the top and caught me with a shot. You know, I tried to regroup the referee. Uh, referee. He called it off. So most definitely, was, I take nothing away from uh, Canelo. He did an outstanding job. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a warrior. You know, I definitely like that type of fighting, that type of exposure. You know, and that's exactly what I needed. Oh, you're, you're a warrior. That's why everyone loves you. Uh, boxing fans. But the way you usually win fights is you may have to get over some rocky moments, and we've consistently seen you do that, except for the Ishida fight. What was it about Canelo when, even when you got back and you overcame and you shook the cobwebs and you started pressuring him, what was it about Canelo that you ultimately weren't able to overcome? Um, as I say, you know, he's a crafty fighter. You know, he come with a lot of skill, uh, a lot of fights, you know. Uh, take nothing away from him. He was just on his P's and Q's. And... Uh, he showed it tonight. Thank you, James. We look forward to seeing you again.